back guys today i'm going to do one example on flat routing so i have a question here but a saying assuming that the k and x for a channel are known outline the four steps that you would follow in flow routing using masking gum method and that's formal so steps in flow routing using masking gum method we have the first one which is uh, discretize discretize the flow hydrograph in time increase of change in t this change in t and then we have uh, the the second point in the procedure which is we love to calculate the, the coefficients c1 c2 c3 so calculate c1 c2 and c3 and check if they add up to one so this is the routing coefficient then the third point in the procedure is use the masking gum masking gum equation equation to compute the outflow hydrograph hydrograph at the end of the channel reach reach so we love to use the masking gum equation to compute outflow hydrograph at the end of the channel then the final point in the procedure is we love to repeat step three so repeat step three up to where so we love to repeat it until the end of inflow hydrograph has been reached so that's it so we move to question but b in the question which says the inflow hydrograph of a river reach is provided in depot one below compute the outflow hydrograph using the masking gum routing method assuming k k so we are given k to be 2.3 hour and we have x be 0 0.15 and then we have initial q which is the discharge which is 85 meters cube per second and this one is 16 max so the table table one for inflow hydrograph is so we have period and inflow so period is in hours and then the inflow is in meter cube per second so the inflow is the discharge so we are given the the, the period and outflow so like period one we have 193 two we have 137 so the inflow is increasing and the reaches uh, up to the end here 10 where we have the final inflow being 675 meter cube per second so solution will be k we are given k to be 2.3 x given to be 0 0.15 and we have change in t which is 1 so here i have i have the routing equation here so the routing equation is so the routing equation is q j plus one is the same as c1 i j plus one plus c2 i j plus q3 c3 c3 i j so this is the routing equation but first we love to calculate the coefficients of the routing equation that is c1 c2 and c3 so coefficient one so we have the formula for calculating coefficient one which is change in t minus 2 kx 
we will divide by 2k into 1 minus x plus changing t. So, we love to substitute this equation for us to get c1. So, here we'll say we have change in t, which is 1, and then the value of k is 2.3, the value of x is 0 0.15. So, we'll just fit in the value in this equation for finding the coefficient of the routing equation. So, we love change in t, which is 1. So, you say 1, we subtract. 2, you multiply by x which is 2.3, you multiply by 0 0.15, so this one in bracket, and then you divide by 2, you multiply by k which is 2.3, into 1 minus x which is 0 0.15, then you love to add the change in t which is 1, so everything in bracket, so here, so make sure you set your calculator first. So you start with the value in the bracket, which is 2. You multiply by 2.3, multiply by 0 0.15, you get 0 0.69. So you say 1, you subtract 0 0.6, and so it's the same. 0 0.31 multiplied by, in bracket we have 1, you subtract 0 0.15, it's the same as 0 0.85. Then you'll have to multiply by 2, then by 2.3, get that. Then you add 1. So it will be 4.91. So you divide 0 0.31 divided by as. So you'll get 0 0.0631 as C1. So we go to C2. So C2 here, I have the formula for calculating coefficient 2, which is change in T, you add 2kx, you divide by 2k in 1 minus x plus change in T. So we'll do the same substitution. So which is we have change in t which is one. So one change in t one plus two multiplied by x k. We multiply by k k which is two point three. Then you multiply by x which is zero point one five. Then you divide by two, you multiply by k. You multiply by k which is 2.3 and then into 1 minus x x which is x is 0 0.15 bracket then you add change in t which is 1 so everything in bracket so we'll start with what is in the bracket first which is 2 you multiply by 2.3 multiply by 0 0.15 so it is 0 0.69 you add 1 so it is 1.69 so 1.69 so it's okay so you divide by 1 you less 0 0.15 and then you multiply by 2 by 2.3 then you add 1 so it's 4.91 one. so Coefficient 2 will be 1.69 divided by and so it will be 0 0.3441 and this is coefficient 2 so let's do coefficient 3 so coefficient 3 we have the formula here for calculating coefficient 3 which is coefficient 3 is 2k 2k you know 1 minus x minus change in t into 2k you divide by 2k everything 1 minus x plus change in t so we'll just do a substitution of which we have the value of k being 2.3 2 times 2.3 and 1 minus x which is 0 0.15 you know, less change in t which is 1 you divide by 2 multiply by 2.3 into 1 minus x which is 0 0.15 and then you add the change in time which is 1 so here we have we we'll start with the numerator of which we have 1 minus 0 0.5 in the bracket 0 0.15 so you get that then you multiply by 2 by 
then you place one from the answer so we have 2.91 in the numerator in the denominator we have 1 minus 0 0.5 in the bracket 0 0.15 then you multiply by 2.3 by 2 and then you add 1 so we have 4.91 in the denominator so if you divide 2.91 you divide by the answer so we'll get 0 0.5927 and this is coefficient 3 so we have to write down the coefficients so I'll write down the coefficients the coefficients so we had c1 being c1 being, c1 I had being 0 0.0631 okay. so these are the coefficients of the routing equation so i love to draw a table now which we will use in the plotting of the inflow and outflow against time so i'll draw this table here meter cube per second so so this is the, the table so we have period hour inflow meter cube per second c1 ij plus one then you have no this one would be c2 so we have question do multiply by ij and that way so but we had period from 1 to 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then we had the initial outflow. Outflow we were given here. The outflow, the initial Q was 85. So we had 85, 85 for the outflow. And then for the first C1 IJ, C2 IJ, and C3 UJ, we have it will be 0, 0, and 0. So for us to get name time so we were given the inflow discharge for the first hour we had being 93 and then 107208 then 320 and then we had 6, 9, 1, and finally 6, 7, 5. Okay, so we'll have to find the values of C1 IJ plus 1, C2 IJ, C3 QJ. That's all. So we'll use the coefficients to calculate this. So for C1 IJ plus 1, so finding the C1 IJ plus one for the second row we we'll have to use the coefficient here so we have c1 we we'll have to multiply by 107 and then c2 you multiply by the c2 ij which is 93 which is in column one and then you for the the outflow here in the second column you multiply c3 by the the given discharge so for the second column the, for the second row, third column, I love to multiply 0 0.061, 0 0.0631, you multiply by 1.7, you get 0 0.0631, you multiply by 1.7, we get 8.6447. So if we round off this one, we have approximately 9. So here we have 9. And then for the for the fourth column here c2 high j we'll use c2 the coefficient 2 0 0.0 0 0.3441 multiply by the upper one which is 93 okay that's a two approximately that two so and then for the outflow here we have q3 ij we will we'll use the 
the, the given discharge which is 85 you multiply by coefficient 3 so coefficient 3 we had 0 0.5927 multiplied by 85 so we get 50.3 so 50.3 is just approximately 50 so you round off it is 50 so for us to get the outflow in the second in the second row we'll have to add 9 plus you add that 2 then you add 50 so we'll have 9 you add that 2 and you add 50 so we'll get 91 to be our outflow so we'll use the same procedure to calculate the remaining values so like for the third row we'll use 0 0.0631 and multiply by 208 we get 13 so approximately 13 and then for the for the fourth column we'll use 0 0.3441 multiplied by the upper one which is 107 the previous one so we get 47 and then for for the q c3 qj we'll multiply the c3 0 0.5 5927 0 0.5927 by 91 the upper one the previous one so we get 54 so we we'll have to add this and this and this for us to get the outflow so we we'll add 13 we we'll add 47 then we we'll add 54 so the outflow is 114 so the same procedure so now we love to plot we plot two hydrographs graphs that is inflow and outflow against time mm -hmm. okay so we love to draw a graph of out outflow and inflow against time So this is the y axis and then here we have the x axis here we have inflow and outflow that is in meter cube per second and then against time in hours and then here we have zero then here we start from one so okay so we'll see, we'll plot in the x-axis from one so you start from here the edge of the graph so it will be two three four five six seven eight nine ten so for the y-axis let's say 100 200 300 400 600 700 800 be the maximum because we have the highest value for the outflow being 623 and then the highest value for the inflow we have being 691 okay so we'll have to plot the inflow and outflow hydrograph against time so we'll start with the inflow so the inflow we have in period one we have it being 93 so 93 ah. so here for 20 small squares we have 100 meter cube per second what about 93 so 93 will be 93 over 100 times 20 5 so 93 30 30 by 5 
so this is 18 point six so let's press 18 point six so here 18 10 10 10 in the round like that so I'll start from this part go to Agoma clear for 137 107 will be 107 you will divide by 100 by 20 so that's 27 boxes so that's in the period of 2 so period of 2 you have 27 so 20 25 27 is around here and then we have 208 for period 3 you divide by 100 times 20 so it's that for 41.6 for, for period 3 40 40 here is 4 so 41.6 is here and then for period 4 you have 320 320 divided by 100 you multiply it by you multiply it by 20 so that's 64 64 for 320 so we have period 4 20 40 60 so 64 61 64 is here and then for period 5, 442 you would divide by So this one is the inflow inflow curve so we are done now with the inflow curve so let's go to the outflow outflow curve will start with 85 so we have 85 you divide by 100 multiply by multiply by 20 so that's 17 so 17 will start here 17 is 10, 10, 17, 17 somewhere here and then for 91 okay so we'll do now for the outflow so we had this one pin here the first for period 1 for the outflow so for 91 divided by 100 and multiplied by 20 so that's 18.2 18.2 somewhere here so for period two, so for period three, we have one fourteen divided by one hundred and multiply by twenty. So that's in two point eight. In two point eight somewhere there. Then for period four, we have one fifty nine divided by one hundred and multiply by twenty. So that's that one point eight. So twenty. So twenty that. So it's that one somewhere there. And then we have for one. so it should be there so the curve should go this way so this right there so this for the the outflow curve so this is now the the hydro curve you are told to plot that's the inflow and outflow against time so this is the end now of the the question thank you for watching so make sure you subscribe. Good day. And share.